All right, I am back. Righty. So I put in an extra 25 pound plate. I have my crampons on. If I remember, I'm gonna put the link where, uh, where I bought it on Amazon and what type. All right, let's do a trip. Come back, put a last trip uh, plate and, and then we're gonna go uh, we some shoulder rock and then inside the gym. Oh, the crampons. Now that is power to pull. Of course, in mud, dirt, rocks, clay, sand. So, and of course, the, the crampons, you know. No, I, I bought this, what, 20, 30, 40 dollars max? The real silicone, eh? The orange thing there is real silicone. It's not like the polymer, poly, everything is going to crack and die off and tear and break off one day. I made very careful to choose the right one. Oh, crampons, cleats. Oh. Fuck, man. Oh, man. It makes leaning back. And the pulling so much more. Ergonomic, powerful, workable, convenient for much heavier loads. All right, switch over. I mean, those that do not have winter, you could you could do this, man. You know, what, on the sidewalk, in your driveway, backyard. Oh yeah. Or you can make it a seasonal thing also. Like I said, you do have winter, and you do do similar to me. Oh yeah. The cleats are great on this shit, man. Oh man. They're almost an inch long, especially underneath. <sighs> uh. ah! Great burping. All right, let's put a, the last plate. Yeah. Uh. So with this one, with, with this one, I'm going to have a 140 pounds. So you have 125 in there, you have 235, and you have 145 and whatever the, the weight of the uh, tire and wheel together, what, at least 10 pounds maybe. <sighs> yeah, and of course, you play your own favorite music, whatever the fuck it is. If you like music, if gives you great, provides you great joy, and motivation and pleasure and assistance for your play. Of course, it could be anything, eh? You like just dance, ballet, eh? calisthenics, powerlifting, strongman, CrossFit, whatever it is, man. But move! Of course, I'm biased, of course, <laughs> because the studies say so, most of all. Eh? Especially as we get older. Do some strength training. It's absolutely optimal, smart, not crazy, overloaded, super high volume, uh, CrossFit type of volume. You know, when you're not competitive for CrossFit, but smart strength training for building and maintenance of optimal hormone, hormonal biological systems. I don't know if it's just me, but pulling heavy ass things. Ah, oh. man, man, fuck! It gives me great fucking pleasure, man, and it works, and it works. And of course, I discovered no, it's intellectual. Of course, I knew, right, that uh, pulling powers 
for humans is uh, more often than uh, uh, multiple, maybe it's three, four times, at least two to one ratio. More power, easier. We have much more strength, humans, in pulling stuff. No, look, look, just take the deadlift, for example. I mean, amateurs, most, for most people, you know, it's not two, two to one ratio, it's three to one ratio of what they can, after they, they start practicing, working for a bit, a few months, they, they, they can more often easily, more build up to pulling, lifting up, much more in the deadlift, in the for, from a posterior chain, dominant, centric, movement, then, and the, then the bench press, anything that is more thoracic, shoulder, front shoulder type of movement. Oh man, this feels so fucking good, man. I want to go back just a little bit. You notice these, uh, we had snow overnight this morning. So I want to break down, carve out, flatten out more of this excess snow. See, right right now, see? It's big, building up a little bit in front of the... Of the I'm going to, first of all, finish, do that the one closer to, to home. As opposed to here, you know, it's, you see more of the gravel. So that, there is some snow left, but it's just a certain amount, so I have maximum traction. Even with my, my crampons, my cleats, and my boots, hey? Hey? Let's go over. Oh, it's, you see the sunset there? Hey, it's about to go down. But I mean, and of course here, if I look, there's no, there is no clouds in the sky today. No clouds, which is extremely rare in this predominantly overcast region of the world. Eastern Ontario, west, Western Quebec. And this, so you have beautiful and incredibly clean air, void of pollution, quite a bit from, compared to most fucking big cities in the world, eh? So there is, there's something to be said about breathing massive amount of cool, fresh, sunny air when playing and working out outside. Oh. Oh yeah, see? I have my own makeshift snowplow. Hey. Oh man. And of course, because it's, you know, you don't have any more air in it, because when I screwed it in, pushed it in, you know, it deflated it. It was, it was, it was inflated beforehand. So you have the, uh, the, the, the wheel rim on, underneath, I mean on the side, uh, dragging also. I think it's touching the, the ground a little bit, which makes it inconvenient in some ways to, you know, especially the harder snow and the upcoming ice, freezing rice, freezing uh, rain ice that will accumulate in my path. Which you know this, this is like they, like it's a good uh, raking. It's like the snowmobile trails for and cross country ski.
skiing trails you know they here around this place they regularly have this big really wide track uh, buggy uh, that you know clears levels prepares the cross-country cross skiing and the snowmobile trails so that it's uh, quite enjoyable to ski on and snowmobile on and of course all uh, this stuff even walking and snowshoeing snowshoeing and you know what you know snowshoeing I think I have never tried this I'm gonna start this year snowshoeing yeah yeah I'm gonna start doing uh, I, I I have been planning this since a few last year and uh, so I'm gonna do this and uh, take some vlogs do some vlogs <laughs> like uh, the GoPro ride this like this I think it's quite convenient in or from the uh, the head uh, head perspective also with the head attachment ah uh, you see how it's really eh? raking down grinding down clearing down the uh, the fresh snow from uh, last night and uh, this morning hey eh? a few more and then uh, on our way back 